Hello, everyone. My name is Jenna Burley. I'm a senior customer success coach here at Bright MLS. And today we're going to talk about working with your search results. So let's start by going to our search drop down menu and click on residential sale. I'm not going to spend too much time building out this criteria. Instead, I want to show you the recent searches option here up here on the right. If I click here, I can see all of the recent searches I've done within the week. This space will hold up to about 50 recent searches and then they'll start to eliminate themselves. But it is handy instead of having to go back and rebuilding out that criteria, you can just refer back to one of your research, your recent searches here. So from here, we can see that our display is set to agent one line. I have about 25 uh, listings on one page. We can go ahead and change that to 50. And when I scroll down and take a look at this listing here, from here, I have a full view of the listing. You'll see that the display has changed to agent full. I can go ahead and look at the photos, view the map, access any documents that are included in this listing. Here are my public records to go to quickly. So I can just click here and view the public records. Go back to that tab. And again, I have the option to see all of the listing details. If I wanted to go down to my actions tab. I have a print option here. I click on print. Now I have still that agent full view or I have agent one line or a few more options that I can choose from in order to print the listings. I wanted to go ahead and preview this listing before I print it. I'll give you a, so you can see what that looks like here at the top, you'll see my header followed by the listing information and my footer here at the bottom. And then I'm just ready to print. Let's go ahead and close this and go back to our results. I'm going to switch from that agent full view back to agent one line. When you have so many results here, you might uh, lose your you lose your space where you were looking here in your uh, results. So if I go here and I click on this MLS number to view this listing, take a look around and decide that I want to go back to those uh, listings. All I have to do is hit my back button here. And it's going to bring me right to the back, very last listing that I viewed. Also, again, remember that you can access any documents from this agent one line view as well. Here are your public records. If I wanted to save this search for later, something I want to refer back to, maybe I created this search for a very um, for a client who's very particular about their needs. All I have to do is click on this piece of paper with the pencil, put my mouse in this space bar here, backspace out the title of that display name, and I can rename that to refer back to later and hit save as a copy. Now my display has been renamed. Anytime you create a display that you wanna remember for later, if I click on this drop down menu, you'll see that they are still here for you. Even a display that I created last year in October, I can still refer back to. And if there's ever a time I no longer want this display, all I have to do again is click on this piece of paper with the pencil and delete that display I, I created. If you like the way that your display is set up after you've uh, created that criteria, you have this radio dial here that you can set and click on. So any search that you create will display as you have it set here. So you can go ahead and set that display as a default. You're also able to rearrange these columns. So if I wanted um, to have uh, that address 
right after my MLS number. All I have to do is hover in that column until I get the cross with the four points, left click and drag that column where I want it placed. I can also sort these columns. So if I wanted to sort this by price, just hover over the title of the column, left click. And now you see I have this highlighted arrow that I can click on for ascending or descending. Remember too that anytime you're in this display, you still have access to your public records. Let's go ahead and choose a couple of properties that you might want to email to your client. So just come down to your actions tab, choose that email option, fill out your contact information, You have an option to CC someone else, and you also have this option to blind copy yourself um, on this message. If you don't want to do that, just go ahead and unclick that arrow. Fill out your subject, your email body. You always have an option to change your signature if anything needs to be updated. And then you can preview the email before you hit send. Just gonna go ahead and cancel this. Remember as well, anytime um, you choose a property, come down to your actions tab. Not only do you have that email option and the print option, but you can get directions quickly. You can export this data. You can go directly to showing time, uh, create a CMA with cloud if you have that as an option or an upgrade. And you also can run any stats on this information from here as well. You also have your save. Uh, tab down here to create a new safe search, which you can always access from your home page and look at your safe searches from here. They're also going to be located under a client if you've created them for a client. So I hope that that is helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck to everyone. Thanks for joining.